Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and today I will be teaching you how to automate the production of Grains of Infinity from the mod Ender.io. Grains of Infinity are used to produce a few different items in the mod Ender.io, and traditionally they are made by setting Bedrock on fire and then waiting for the fire to go out. And sometimes the fire will produce Grains of Infinity, sometimes it will not. I think the odds are around 50%. And when it does produce grains of infinity, the fire will pop and you will see the item obviously just like that. So what we're going to do to automate this is we are going to use the mechanical user from the mod Extra Utilities 2. And I should mention that to set everything up in exactly the same way that I am today, you will need just a few mods. Obviously, you will need the mod Ender IO as the um, grains of infinity are from the mod Ender IO. And you will need the mod extra utilities too for the mechanical user and that should be just about it. I will also be using the timer from RF tools but there are ways to make uh, timers in vanilla Minecraft so you don't necessarily need that. I think it's just a kind of a way to make things a little bit easier on myself. So let's get started. Obviously the first thing is the mechanical user. What we will need to do is I want to set this to be redstone pulse and I want to set this to be use item on block and I want to set this to be right click we can do left click or right click and then we want to set this bottom one to be upper left hand slot only so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill the other slots of the mechanical user with just cobblestone you can use just about anything in these slots uh, because they're just there to fill up space and in this last slot we want flint and steel so what we're going to do now is I'm going to set up a timer for this and I already have the timer configured to be set on one minute. You can probably speed this up a little bit if you want, but as you can see, once it got hit with the redstone pulse, it did light a fire. And sometimes, like I said, this fire will produce grains of infinity. Sometimes like that, it will not. But the next thing I want to do is I want to set up a crafter next to the mechanical user and this will supply the mechanical user with flint and steel. So what we're going to do is we need to put a basic capacitor in this and then we need to go ahead and make the recipe for flint and steel and then we need to supply it with items. And I've actually never used this particular crafter before but it looks like it will only accept uh, as many items in each slot as uh, the crafting recipe here so so what I'm going to do next is I want to set a basic capacitor next to this so that I can actually give it power and that's going to be how we're going to craft this so right now we have a flint and steel it has crafted one so we're going to set this to be automatically push the outputs to the mechanical user right now it cannot as that slot is filled but once this flint and steel is used up, it will push out the next flint and steel into the mechanical user and the mechanical user will continue operating. So that's fantastic. The last thing I want to do is I want to set up a mechanism to automatically collect the grains of infinity. And for that, I'm going to use a vacuum chest also from the mod Ender.io. And I'm going to drop this right here. What I'm going to do is... Uh, or what you can do with the vacuum chest is you can set the range uh, we don't need that range so let's just dial this down a little bit uh, because the grains of infinity will be produced right here so we don't need the range so let's go ahead and take away the range and hopefully at some point in the near future this thing will produce some grains of infinity that will end up in the vacuum chest so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go away for a little bit hopefully at some point soon i get some grains of infinity and i want to see this in action so what I'm going to do is just walk away for a second and let this thing run. And as you can see, we have some grains of infinity in this vacuum chest. The system has been running for about five or 10 minutes. So we do have a couple of these grains of infinity. So the system works as intended. And that is how you automate the production of grains of infinity. If you feel like you learned something today, feel free to drop a like. And if you are interested in learning more about automation in modern Minecraft, Definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.